All right, so today I wanted to take a little bit of time to kind of reframe your mindset on understanding what a welding business actually is. Uh, it's a lot deeper than just being able to weld. Um, it's more kind of into the business side of it. Uh, most all businesses have the same underlying um, feature, I guess you would call it. And what it is is that you are solving someone's problem for them. Um, just because you can weld is not really in of itself amazing enough of a feat. Um, there's quite a bit of people actually out there that can weld. The reason that you are going to be able to set, you know, set yourself apart and make a better income for yourself or provide, you know, your services in the local area that they choose you over someone else is because of your ability to solve their problem. So we're going to get into that a little bit. Uh, just an example of a couple of days ago, myself and another contractor, which is a good friend of mine, uh, showed up on a job site. The supervisor there said, hey, I got this problem. We need to get it fixed. And then he went away. See, he didn't, sh he didn't call us out and say, hey, look, um, you know, I, I need this, this, and this done, and this is how I want it done. It, it was none of that. And it just kind of brought to mind a very good subject that I wanted to talk about and is that is if you're getting paid very well as a contractor, most of the time they're paying you that and bring you out to solve their problem. Now you may use welding and use fabrication to solve their problem, but they're not, that's not their problem. Their problem's not, oh, I needed something welded. It's, I needed something repaired so I could do my job with my piece of equipment. Um, you know, I needed something fixed, you know, something built to, you know, reach the required level of safety. Whatever it is, their problem is not lack of weld and lack of fabrication. Their problem is, oh, that is an unsafe area to work in. Oh, this bucket is tore apart. I can't use it anymore to do my job. You know, and it goes on and on. So you really need to look at what is the problem you are solving for people. Now, if you're into um, another good example would be industrial iron. Uh, if you're into, say, someone's spending lots of money on getting some landscaping done, uh, a gentleman had just brought up to my attention, and it's a good opportunity too. Their problem is they're getting landscaping done, but they want some ornamental stuff built. Their problem is they want it custom. They want something custom built for them. Do they care that you weld or you fabricate? Not really. But can you solve their problem? Can you give them a custom piece of something to go with their landscaping? If you can do that, you're solving their problem. So don't be thinking about it like, uh, well, you know, like an employee or like a welder. Be thinking of it like a businessman. And whenever you're out there doing business, think of it, who and what problem am I solving with welding? How am I using welding and fabrication, my welding business? How am I using it? to solve the problem because that is where you're going to get more business is if you start realizing what problem you're solving, you'll know who to talk to and that's where you're actually going to get more work because no one cares that you weld and you fabricate. They really don't. What they care about is will you solve their problem? And I believe almost all businesses are that. Just take a look at any business you use. What problem do they solve for you? It'd be a good example. I mean, I, I could go on and on for, you know, a whole bunch of different businesses out there that do it, but all of them at their core are doing that one thing is they're solving a problem for their client or consumer. You've got to do the same to succeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you got any extra thoughts you want to throw down in the comments, please do. If you got any questions, throw them down in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I love the interaction. I appreciate your support so far. Hope you have a great day, as always. I'll talk to you later.